Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about info dash function. What it is, when to use it. Let's try to check it out as part of this video. The main purpose of this function is for providing the information about your semantic model. And this is not the new function. It is actually available earlier as a tabular model schema data management views. The uh, in simple terms, people you why you need to use it is like you have created a model that has a lot of uh, measures, relationship, column, and you need to document it. That is the main purpose for auditing. Uh, later point of time, the Power BI model has evolved uh, over two years or three years or few years. Then you don't know what's happening in the model. Then you can list down what are the relationship, what is the measure, what are the columns, all of the stuffs. This is basically used for documentation purpose, auditing, governance. And for that, uh, you need this info function. Most important functions that use is like info.tables, info.columns, info.measures, and more more info.relationships. So basically like um, uh, what it gives is like info the tables that kind of information about the tables and the model columns in the model with the data type and whatever other uh, informations and info that measures that contains some measure informations on what is the expression what is the format string used. So this is all about um, this info functions. Let's try to check it out. Uh, demo how practically you can use this function this channel contains a free content that covers the power bi msbi and fundamentals of azure as well as azure data factory utilize this free content share this channel with your friends and colleagues let's begin so basically i am in um, uh, this window like dax query because I want to show you how it will uh, generate the output. So info dot functions. So if you see here info dot functions, you can see a lot of functions over here. Info info uh, dot um, tables info dot um, uh, measures and info dot perspectives. All other things, whatever your semantic model. Basically, these are kind of a metadata information for the Microsoft or the Power BI core Power BI. Right, using this model only, all of our uh, this particular tool will work. So, uh, let's try to understand the practical use case. Let's say uh, you want to understand how many measures in your uh, model. For that, you always you will go over here and just put it as a count and put enter here. Now, in this, this is a very simple model, you have only few measures let's assume you have a very big model and someone asks you how many measures here or what is the purpose of each measure no one knows you need to go through the complete list and then you will end up in uh, wasting a lot of your time now it is very quick quick of a, a small query like light evaluate in four at measures will give you all the measures in your um, model and it will give other information whether it is hidden modified date all other steps let me give you now one practical example where uh, it will be really useful let's say you have a model uh, this is very simple practical model uh, for the demonstration purpose but in real world it won't be the case let's assume this particular table is uh, having uh, how many relationship in this case it is related to fact currency rate fact internal cells how i can mm, in query uh, how, how i should know i should uh, pass this as a filter then i should understand these two tables are related let's try to check it out now for that let me introduce that another function that is relationship this will give me all the relationship inside this model now it has 11 relationship all together across each uh, different table now here uh, i don't get uh, much information because you see the name of the model are slightly different because it has only the relationship between the items right 
other this is the relationship name only this is available for that only i they have introduced another four views view dot columns view dot measures view dot relationship view dot tables right so here you can use this view dot relationship instead of direct relationship now as i said in my previous example now you can see this is the name of the relationship and this is the relationship actual how it is related that is also available here and then as i said before i want to know for the date right what are the different um, relationship exist for that let me have a filter of this table because this particular function returns the table as the output now uh, as you can see from the uh, output the two table is my relationship column here i will say dim date now as i said before uh, i can get two tables here that is fact internal sales fact currency rate now you can see from dim date i have fact internal sales fact currency rate so that is what i have get it so these are you can enhance your practical applications in this using this uh, functions now um i hope there is nothing much to uh, explain in this function but before winding up i will try to uh, explain you the quick difference you can see uh, about the info function and info.view function basically if you see here there are only four info.view function let's revert back info.columns right let's say columns you you can see this is the info.column this is the direct uh, dmvs that is uh, view um, what do you call uh, data management views that is tml schema the uh, data management views now this uh, will have a restriction of we cannot use this functions in the uh, calculated column or the calculated uh, tables that is the restriction for that only they have introduced this views like this views can be um, used in the calculated columns and the calculated tables these views joins other info functions that is what it is basically you cannot join other info function this as the name indicates this is also another function but they named it as a view which contain much more information joining let me show you what i'm trying to convey now uh let's try to create a new calculated table with info dot columns this is uh i want column list entire column list info dot columns right when i put this one when i press enter you can see this is not allowed basically the function info dot columns cannot be used in the expression of measure calculated column or calculated defined in the model this is the restriction of uh, this function cannot be used as a part of the table or calculated measure as the error indicates to overcome this only microsoft has introduced this view dot columns which can be used in the calculated column as well as calculated tables and measures because sometimes we may use this one to check some relationship exist or whatever reason based on your uh, use case that is why they introduce so we have four views as of now maybe they can extend some more but these are the most commonly used uh, like you have a measures columns relationship and tables these are the most fundamentals i hope you understand uh, the purpose of um, info functions uh, as the very first step and then you understand the difference between info dot functions and info dot view functions as well if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries if you are watching this video for the very first time in this channel please do subscribe to this channel and do remember that data is your asset